Come one, come all, bring your minions, short and tall. Visit Clark's Pets to see it all. Two locations, seven days a week. Clark'sPets.com, so unique. Good morning, New Mexico. We are here at the fabulous, exotic location of Birds of a Feather Parrot Rescue of New Mexico. And with us today, we have Dorothy and Allie, and they run this place. So stay tuned, we got a lot coming your way. Today we are introducing you to a variety of parrots. And with us today we have Dorothy. Dorothy Nudo. And she's going to explain a little about, about what they do. Um, we're a parrot rescue. We take in um, parrots for a variety of reasons, whether it's um, death of a family member or neglect or you just can't take care of them or we work with the state and lots of federal governments. And we rehab them, we get them healthy and happy, we um, work with helping with behavioral issues, and then we find them a home. All right, and how, how long have you guys been established doing what you do? We've been a not-for-profit for about seven years, but I've been in rescue for 27 years. Wow, okay. And uh, a day-to-day -day operation like this, I mean, what, give us a little rundown of <laughs> How it starts? Early in the morning? <laughs> starts really early in the morning. Um, kind of get up by 6 and check everybody's food and water. Um, they get fresh fruits and vegetables. They get a pellet. They get seed. They get nuts. Um, they get a variety of things. And so we take care of that in the morning. Um, in the winter time, everybody's inside the house. Nobody stays outside. In the summertime, um, as you can see, a lot of them stay outside. Yeah. And um, it's not just a cage on top of dirt. There's cinder block that goes um, three cinder blocks down to keep any kind of rodents or anything else out of there so that would, the birds are safe. Um, they have their flights. They have, we have great neighbors, so they kind of understand. And um, it's, it works out really nice. You know, it's, it's kind of fun to have them all back here. Yeah, having good neighbors is is a plus. I mean, when I was coming, I drove up and right away, rah, rah, hearing the birds. <laughs> you, um, you know exactly yeah. where you're going. <laughs> now, let, tell us how many, more or less, that you have on hand at any given time. I mean, right now, how many birds do you have? Uh, we are at about 38 birds. Okay. Um, so right now, this week alone, we had eight coming in mm -hmm. and two adoptions. Wow. So the adoptions are a good thing. They're timely. It takes lots of time to get them adopted. Mm -hmm. So we make sure they go to the right family, that they go to the right, the right situation. We do home checks. Mm -hmm. um, we do welfare checks. Mm -hmm. And once they adopt, they're not alone. Like if something happens or they, the bird beha starts behaving badly, mm -hmm. then they always have us to rely on. Yeah. yeah. Now somebody that's interested in adopting a parrot, they'll contact you. What's I mean, what do you tell them? Because, you know, from my experience, one or two days hanging out with these parents, I've realized that we're essentially taking on another kid, another, you know, I mean, daily, you know, needs. <laughs> it's a forever two-year-old yeah. yeah. with a 16-year-old mentality, okay. attitude, I should say. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we have an application. It's an initial questionnaire. It gives us a really good idea on what you're looking for. I have a lot of people that say, I really want to adopt a macaw. And I, I look at the application and it says they live in an apartment. Yeah. A macaw is not an apartment bird. Oh, most yeah. apartments and most rentals don't allow parrots because they're so destructive, they're very really loud, and they're a lot more to take care of than a dog or a cat. Mm -hmm. So if, if the apartment complex or the rental house says, yes, you can have it, I need a letter from, from the, your landlord, basically. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, if you own your own home, do you plan on staying in New Mexico? That's a big deal. So a lot of these guys are illegal in different states and different counties. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. So it's important that we know what we are doing and where this bird is going. Now what, if somebody, you know, wants to do that, 
um, the bonding is very important, right? Very like, important. These, from what I've seen, they love that. That they have a need. They do. They have that need to be talked to, to be rubbed. Be well, talked. and they either love and you or rough. they hate you. Oh, rough, they hurt. Too, right? Yes, yeah. yes. Um, yes, all of our fingers have, have forever scarring. Um, yeah, it's important to know that they do bite, and they will, they will always bite. Mm -hmm. When they're happy, they're upset, they're overly excited, they are going, they're going to bite. And just by the pounds per square inch, you know, they can go through a, a book with no problem. So your finger, your bone is not a problem either. They can Earrings, crush it. They can grab those. They glasses. like sparkly stuff. They love glasses. They they like all of that. Um, and it's really kind of interesting because people come in and go, I want, and they have a specific bird in mind. And once I get to talking to them and I see what their lifestyle is and what they have going on, I have a good idea on just because they want this, what's really going to fit in their lifestyle. Yeah. And so we kind of talk about what we have, what's going on, what do they need, and the requirements of the bird. Uh, tell us one thing that... Being a rescue, you know, being a, a set up as a rescue, tell us one thing that you need as a rescue. What helps the most? Well, that's a tough question. Mm -hmm. It depends on the time. Like right now, we're getting a lot of birds in. Mm -hmm. So monetary donations to help with the vet bills. Mm -hmm. That always helps because our vet bills get pretty high. And especially yeah. with, um, right now I have to vet 12 birds. Yeah. So you're figuring about three hundred dollars okay. plus a bird if everything's okay, yeah. and so um, that that always helps. Yeah. Dr. Levinson is our vet, so oh, okay. you can always you know make a, a donation straight to them for us. Mm -hmm. um, and food's always never ending. Mm -hmm. The hard part about food is we use Zupreme, mm -hmm. and then I use a high quality seed mix that we order, oh, okay. and so um, you know it's it's nothing that you can get at the local grocery store. Um, and I buy it in big bulk. Let yeah. me go. Let me oh, go grab him because he's yeah. gonna. He wants some attention. Oh, all the time. Yeah. But well, this is Luca. Say hello to Luca. And how old is Luca? Luca is 14. He's 14. a male Moluccan cockatoo. What's the average lifespan of a, of a parrot? Um, depending on the size, but you're still looking at we. There's there's documentation that there's over 102 years old. So you, that's why diet's so important. Yeah. You know, you don't want to give them macaroni and cheese for breakfast. You don't want to give them, you know, carbs. That's why they need some high quality foods. Yeah. And so, um, you know, and, and the attention, this kid just demands. If we're out here. Now he's quiet. He oh. He wanted attention. He wanted attention. He, he knows we're here. And right now, like, he's getting all these new feathers. And so I'm preening him. So he wants, it's, it's kind of something his mate would do uh, in the wild. So clean, Like a grooming thing. Right. So, he, you know, he just kind of hangs out here, and he loves it outside, you know. But when he's throwing a temper tantrum, um, they, they get really loud. I can hear him. Um, I can hear him about a mile and a half away. Wow. So his scream travels faster than the sound of noise. Whoa. Just like the airplane above the head. Yeah. You know, that airplane's already how far away, and you're barely hearing the noise. He's the same way. Well, a anything else you would like to add? Any let anybody know, you know... What's coming up? Anything you got going? Well, we used to do a lot of fundraising. Rock and Brews is one of our places, and you know they unfortunately have closed. That's right. Yeah. Um, so we're not able to do a lot of outdoor fundraising, mm -hmm. but um, we are starting to like instead of adopting the bird into your house, some of our birds that are not adoptable, you're able to adopt and sponsor. Ah. So if you, there's a bird that you see that you know, um, Sully. Um, Doozer, there's several of them that are here to stay for good for several reasons. You know, they have, um, they have medical issues. They, you know, they, they have things that we can't adopt them out. And so, you know, if you're interested in, in Sponsor. sponsoring that bird for toys or food or, yeah. you know, you want to come over and pet them, we do have that too. People ah, want to come okay. and they want to okay. learn about them, yeah. but they don't want to own one. Um, so that's once available, sponsorship. It is. Oh, yeah. and, um, you can visit your website. Your Facebook page. Facebook page, Birds of a Feather, Birds of a Feather. Parrot um, Rescue of New Mexico. Feel free to contact them. The sponsorship, I think, if you if people are, if you're interested in parrots, do a sponsorship. I think that would help a lot. Yep. Doing that. So, and any donations, donations go a long way. Uh, but check them out. Uh, Par Birds of a Feather, Parrot Rescue of, of New, New Mexico. Mexico. Mm -hmm. On Facebook. 
their website. Um, give them a call, give them a ring. Other than that, we are here at the fabulous <laughs> paradise in Albuquerque. <laughs> The, the South America in Albuquerque. Parrot dice? <laughs> <Parrot>. No pun intended. <laughs> Parrot dice, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, definitely look them up. Um, that's, this is what makes New Mexico unique. You know, out of, we have dog rescues, cat rescues, ferret rescues, rabbit rescues, and we have a parrot rescue. So that's what makes New Mexico unique. That's what makes us us. So signing off, uh, your pet report, David with your pet magazine, Dorothy with Birds of a feather, pair of rescue. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much.